New tonight, many stations throughout a mid-Michigan city are being used to prevent violence. The stations located on the north, south, east, and west sides are staffed with volunteers to help residents report crime. And the mayor tells TV5's Rachel McCrary he believes once they're open, it will bring a positive change to the community. Yeah, I'm so excited to announce that, you know, we have five locations inside the city of Flint that's been slated to be many stations inside our community four of which are ready to go. Ready to go, but for one issue, the city needs more volunteers to staff those substations. They're part of the answer to reduce the spike in violent crime. Murders are up more than 26% from last year, and arsons are up too. That's why substations could be a game changer for Flint police. I'm very, very confident and very optimistic uh, that uh, this is going to change uh, things in a positive way. Way. 15 volunteers have already received training and Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely says the city is in its final steps of opening two of the five sites. When scheduling details are ironed out, the Chevrolet Avenue and Dort Mall stations will be the first ones to open, possibly within the next few weeks. Brick and mortar portions of the operation is, is ready to go and they're waiting right now for volunteers. The city is looking for at least 30 more people to be the eyes and ears of the community in these spots. Neely says this is an opportunity for someone with a sense of community spirit to serve and protect. You cannot have a level of investment where we have volunteers and, and brick and mortar uh, places and it does not have a, a level of a positive impact. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.